G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at August 21st, 2025's Japanese Sum Sudoku uh, by Clover. Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy. G'day. Uh, <laughs> sorry to everyone who felt victimized by yesterday's one. Uh, I rest assured this one's quite a bit gentler. Um, but uh, we are Gas Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. We create sets of Genuinely Approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. Uh, you will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Two hats is for a very fast time, one hat is for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, I'm going to read the rules and we're going to get into it. So, um, this is a Japanese sum Sudoku. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, so each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, I'm going to read all the rules and then I'm going to, there's, um, so I'm going to stop to just kind of break down, um, all of like the, uh, oh gosh, words, um, the, uh, uh, corner cases outside of the grid. Gray clues indicate sums of digits in continuous runs of gray cells in that row or column, and red clues indicate the sums of digits in continuous runs of red cells in that row or column. So, what that means is you're going to have to shade. Sorry to, like, everyone who keeps telling me, oh, I don't know, I don't like shading. Today, you, I will be impressed if you can solve to have a bonus hat on me. Um, now, uh... So what does that mean? It means that, uh, oh, actually, no, I'm going to keep reading, then I'm going to come back. Clues are given in order from left to right or top to bottom. There must be at least one blank or differently colored cell in between two runs of the same color, but there is not necessarily a blank cell in between runs of two different colors. All clues have been given for both rows and columns. Uh, cells that are not indicated by a clue are not colored. Okay, so let's, uh, let's break down the implications of what that might mean. So, um, where do I start without giving away some of the puzzle? All right, so, um, let's, uh, there's not really a good place to do it without you. Okay, uh, let's try this. So, um, I'm going to look at this middle row here. So, if I were to say one um f uh nine and five Oof. uh and one eight and six uh actually i'll put this eight here for a second to not give away everything that could be my run of 15 that um uh is my red cells uh and then uh i would need uh and then in this row i'd need to have like some number of cells summing to 21, so that's why this wouldn't work. And then before that, I would need to have a run of nine that sum to a uh, run that sums to uh, nine. As an example, that could just literally be nine. Um, uh, giving away a little bit of the puzzle. Um, so in in this one in particular, I'm going to give away this bit. Um, so I have a two and a three now the only way that that can work is if this two is a gray cell um this uh this red uh this red four could be next to it um but uh and it wouldn't need to have uh any gaps in between the change of colors but this two would need to skip at least one unshaded cell to have the three be shaded um I hope that sort of like gives you everything that you need to solve today's puzzle. Um, fingers crossed. If not, um, please be nice. That's all I ask, gang. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. That being said, I'm going to get into it. Uh, I really like today's puzzle. I think it's a cutie. So let's do it. So, um, place to start is this one right here. That is a red cell. So, uh, I'm going to use green for my unshaded cells today now this red uh these one and two both have to be red because nothing comes after the two i know that this can all be green uh because 
any sh sh cell that isn't glued is not shaded. The only way I can have 24 and three cells is if it is seven, eight, and nine. So uh, this is a seven, this is an eight, nine pair. Now this two, uh, the only way I can have a run is of two is if it's that. Um, I also need to shade that cell, which becomes a one. Uh, this is a green and the rest of this row is green. So, uh, this is a red. Now, um, I need to make this make 14 somehow. The only way I can actually do that is if one and five, I need eight more. Can this take two cell? Uh, this can definitely not take three cells because three cells making eight need the one. Uh, can this take two cells? Well, no, it cannot because this would need either one and seven, two and six, or three and five. So it must be only three cells. Makes that eight. Pretty cool. Uh, now, uh, let's get back to, <laughs> let's get, uh, what's that, what's that Disney song? I'm not going to sing it. Uh, let's, let's get back to business or something. Um, I'm really not a Disney person, so sorry to those if I butchered it. Um, but there we go. Uh, this is nine and one. Uh, we could use a little bit of me meta logic here to know that that's three, but I'm not going to, uh, the reason, the reason it has to be three is if, Oh, actually, no, this is a cute bit of logic. I'm going to use this. I know that this ha we, that we have to put a red three in row four. Oh, okay. I was about to do what I, what I thought was very cute logic, but it turns out it's not that cute. Um, and I was like, well, where does a red cell go? Because it, th this, this column has red cells and none of those do. But then I noticed there's a three there, so I just can't put a three in any of those cells. That is a three. And uh, yeah, cool. Uh, and now all of these are unshaded. Great. Uh, let's go down here. This is a red one and this is a gray one. Uh, I'm using that color gray. Uh, meaning all of these are now unshaded. And now this has to be three shaded uh, grays in a row. Uh, for seven, eight, nine. Uh, this needs to have an unshaded. This is a shaded cell, and that is a two. Uh, in rows, I haven't even gotten to this row yet. That's crazy. Uh, every single one of those is unshaded because the first thing that has to be shaded is a red four. We could have a one three making four, but uh, we've already got the three in the row, so we know it can't be that. Uh, this was the bit of logic I covered earlier, so, you know, we'd hope we're using it. Um, that is wrong color. All right. Uh, now, seven and one up here is eight, making three. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I need to have one more connected cell, uh, but we will do that in a second. Um, all right. Oh, all of those were unshaded. Cool. Uh, now, uh, that helps us do this bit. Uh, we need to make 11. Now, with 14, uh, the 14 at takeaway 3 is 11. Can't be se uh, 7, 4, 8, 3, or 9, 2. So this must be 5 and 6, which is going to help us significantly in a second because both of those are shaded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these are unshaded now. Uh, to be fair, that's unshaded, and that is a six. Uh, now, I, I noticed something cute here, which is nine plus 21 is 30, plus 15 uh, makes 45. So I can actually go, these are all shaded, and those are all shaded. Uh, because it means everything in the row must sum to 45. So we know all of those clues work. So what does that, uh, what does that tell us? That tells us uh, when we read down here, this is five, eight, and two, uh, six and nine. Nine and one make 10, six and two make eight. This is a three, this must be four to make up the nine. Now this is five, seven, and nine, but because I know that this has to be a five, this has to be a seven, and this has to be a six because that's the only things that can fit anymore. Uh, Cool. 
And now, uh, all of those are unshaded. And, yeah, okay, uh, let's do some actual Sudoku. Um, yeah, I think I still need to do a bit of Sudoku. Yeah, let's do some Sudoku. Uh, that's a four, five, uh, two has to go here. This is seven and nine. Because seven's in one of those two cells, that means this is seven. Uh, six up here tells us that this is uh, six and then five. This is a one. Uh, six and eight. Uh, whew. Uh, five is forced down here. Uh, and that has to make that total. Um, how do I know that has to make that total? Uh, five, uh, so if I max this out, this is 17, uh, 17, 20, 22. So, because I, oh, that is interesting. Uh, if I max this out as nine, eight, it is actually one too many. So I actually know that this has to be seven and nine, and this is nine. Uh, 9 and 8, 17, plus 3 is 20, making this a 4. That is everything shaded in the grid. Uh, now, ignore the 9, 4, 8. I'm sure it's not relevant for anything. Uh, okay, uh, let's just finish off the Sudoku now. That's a 5, 4, and 6, uh, 8, and 1, 2, 9, uh, 4, 4, and 9 across the top. Uh, Seven, three, six, uh, five and nine, uh, nine and seven, four and nine, uh, that's a four. Uh, this is four and eight, uh, eight, seven and six, uh, five and three, six and two, one and nine. Uh, this has been Japanese Sums Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.